So Allie's actually upstairs doing some mommy and me yoga. She's having some me time. We're gonna sneak up on her. Look at that teamwork. Leo, are you doing yoga? Leo's doing his yoga. Mom's doing her yoga. Brandon and I are gonna be downstairs working on cabinets. All right, so we got this cabinet built in our last video, if you guys caught that. This is all done, it basically just needs a face frame and then we've gotta put doors on it. Now up here is gonna be its own independent cabinet and then there's gonna be some dead space over there in the corner. So today we're trying to get the pieces kind of fine tuned so that they're gonna slide in here nice and perfectly and mount up and then get mounted to the ceiling and to the walls and be nice and sturdy because that cabinet is gonna be like one of those dark, deep, everything that you don't know where to put it goes up in that cabinet and we need it to be really sturdy and really strong. So Brandon and I are gonna cut down a couple of pieces get everything set up, and then we're gonna come in here and try and mount that cabinet. All right, so we went ahead and took, this is gonna be our top piece that's gonna go against the ceiling, and we found out exactly where the joists are in the ceiling, and then we mounted or we uh, drew some lines across this board right where the joists are. So we're gonna go hold this up in the ceiling or against the ceiling and try and put some screws through it to mount it to the ceiling permanently and then uh, we'll start building the rest of the cabinet on top of that or on bottom of that. We've got some of this stuff marked out. We're drilling some of the pocket holes that are gonna go in this bottom piece. I'm gonna start marking out the side pieces. We're gonna make quick work of this and then uh, I think we'll probably be able to get some of the face frame built today. The face frame is like finish work and you have to like, it needs to be a work of art. So it's gonna take some time. I forgot to mention that I have a stronger so we got our little three-sided cabinet box here built this is what's going to go above the dryer if you guys haven't figured that out by now so we're going to go in put some glue on these two top pieces slide that in there and uh hopefully get it mounted and hopefully it's nice and sturdy and strong All right, well, something that I'm quickly learning with uh, built-in cabinets is no matter how perfect and square and straight you think you're gonna be able to make these cabinets, the walls that you're building them into are never perfect and square and straight. So uh, we've taken some measurements and we cut one of these pieces down and now we're gonna have to cut it down one more quarter of an inch and then the bottom piece should fit. We're gonna take the side pieces and get them mounted to the bottom and then we're gonna try and fit all three of those pieces together up in there and build the cabinet in place. And then we just gotta do the face frames and the doors and paint it, which will probably take a week. Our first mommy and me yoga. That was nice. How was it? It's a lot more multitasking, but <laughs> it feels so good. That was awesome. And uh, it's really nice to be able to do it on Zoom and not have to go anywhere and pack him up and I can mute myself if he starts to get fussy. <laughs> Was it just a bunch of other mommy and me's? It was just me and her. Oh, really? Like a private class. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it was really nice. And now we're going to help Daddy build a cabinet. Yeah, we're almost done. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Our cabinet's a hair out of square, at least. Not that much. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Oh! Leo's a little tired. It's past his nap. He definitely wants to be sleeping, but once he gets a little overtired, it's hard to convince him that he actually wants to take that nap. So I'm gonna take him upstairs, put him in his actual crib. 
try to get him to calm down a little bit and uh, I think he'll feel much better if he sleeps for a little bit. Are you tired? Are you tired? You're not tired. Just like that, Leo is out. I knew he just wanted to be put in a situation where he needed to take a nap and wasn't given any other options. And within about a minute and a half, he's passed out. He's very happy upstairs sleeping. In the past couple nights, he's been sleeping seven or nine hours at a time, which I don't want to jinx myself, but I would love for that pattern to continue. <laughs> Brandon, how long did it take your kids to sleep through the night? Are we close? I would say, yeah. 10 weeks? You gotta be getting close. I don't remember, it's been a long time. Two nights ago he slept for like seven hours. And yeah, last so night he slept close. for six and a half hours. You're getting close then. Okay. He woke up at 4.30. We're getting there. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. You, you getting excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they make a tool for like pulling these out. I thought you were gonna say a tool for making kids sleep through the night. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for either. <laughs> For pulling these out? <laughs> yeah, like a thing you slide under there and like pull oh. it out or something. You try to pull these out? Well, if you ever have to. You got oh. a paint in there. Oh. I see. <laughs> Who thought this through? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Should have built these first. It's a multifaceted operation. It's gonna take a while to do all of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd be so mad if this breaks. Lift with your back, not your legs. <laughs> Is that how you do it? That's how you do it. <laughs> My upper back. <sighs> Stackable. It's not the best idea. No. <laughs> All right, I've got some painting clothes on. These guys, I think, are doing a Home Depot run. I'm gonna get a little messy in here. Uh, the fan's on, the window's open. It's a pretty small space, so I'm not really worried about the fumes. And Leo is way upstairs uh, sleeping, so he's not anywhere near the paint smell either. And we're gonna get this painted as quickly as possible, which if it's just me painting, I'm assuming it'll take a pretty long time. Don't lie. <laughs> God, I feel like an old man. <laughs> Don't paint the floor. Don't paint the floor. Great so, advice. Don't paint the floor. Okay. Don't worry about painting inside these pocket holes. Okay. Um, just get good coats on the wood. Alrighty. Well, that didn't last very long. The paint is dry in here. It doesn't smell like paint, which is a good thing. Um, I was able to get all of the inside corners done, the back corners done, um, um, everywhere except for this top shelf up here and this top shelf up here. And then Leo woke up and I had to go feed him and cuddle him and now he is wide awake and does not want to be put back down. So. Of course, I did not finish or get anywhere close to as much done as I hoped. Uh, and now Trent and Brandon are back from Home Depot. We'll see what they think of the progress I made. How'd it go? Good. All done? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, at least you started. <laughs> we have a baby, I get it. Trent is gonna take the baby and I will finish painting. I gotta keep building. Somebody's gotta do the building around here. Oh, 
Wow, look at this incredible paint job. Getting there. <laughs> taking advantage of this weather as much as possible. These guys have set up a workstation outside. So they're making all their cuts out on the deck and the sawdust is staying out here. And honestly, it's like so nice and warm. It feels great. It's probably only in the 40s. I can't imagine it's any warmer than that, but compared to what it's been lately, it feels like springtime. It feels amazing. And just like a light hoodie, um, because it's so dry here, even a temperature as low as the 40s feels really warm. So. Everything is uh, nice and dried out on the deck and we're just enjoying the fresh air and the warmth while we have it because I know in a couple days it's going to go back to freezing temperatures and a lot more snow. <laughs> while they continue to get so much work done it's not really a super productive day for me. And that is something that I'm just learning to adjust to and go with the flow and accept. Um, I used to do a lot more, I feel like, than I currently do now with a baby. And that's okay. And part of uh, adjusting our family here is learning how to incorporate Leo into our lives and things move a little bit slower and just are a little bit different. And it's taken a lot of adjusting mentally to be okay with that. I just don't feel like I'm as helpful or contributing as much as I want to be or should be. Um, but then I just have to remember that he needs a lot of attention and um, his schedule is the priority right now. So I am I'm making sure that he's okay first. We're doing everything else second. Trent and Brandon are just crushing it like always. Maybe tomorrow this cabinet is going to be fully functional and gorgeous. You know, for being out of practice and building, you guys make it look very easy. <laughs> well, this part is easy. It looks great. It's sanded and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, look at that. Ready for paint. <laughs> now we just need a painter. <clears throat> yeah. Whose idea was it to make these cabinets so deep? The washer and dryer people. <laughs> <laughs> there's just no point in making this cabinet like half this de this deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then there's just like this weird zone like next to the washer and dryer. That and you, that's where we hang another picture of Brennan's face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of spaces for that. <laughs> this is linens and things. <laughs> that's linens and things. Oh, no, that's powdery the pantry. The pantry is linens and things. You're going to box that off? Is that what's happening here? Yeah. yeah. Trent. I'm about to close it in right now. We should put a time capsule in that. Like what? I don't know, like a shoebox full of like yeah. some Polaroids of us. Old, and like some old socks. Some old socks, some perfect. Ones. Yeah, some stinky ones. Some like a 2021 yeah. Christmas ornament. Yeah. A mask. A mask, yeah, a mask. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a mask, a bottle of hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you love pocket holes? They're my favorite thing in woodworking. <laughs> in the United States, they're known as a Craig jig because I think Craig like patented them or something, but around the world they're known as pocket holes. And basically they allow you to do this. They allow you to take two pieces of wood and join them together. And in the past you would have to like come from this side and like, uh, like drill a hole and then take a screw and screw all the way through to like join these two pieces of wood together. Or you would just not have them joined together and you would just kind of piece them up next to each other and there'd be a crack and it would look like crap over time. And this uh, allows you to glue it and then use these Craig jigs or, you know, a pocket hole jig to 
screw into the side, it compresses the two pieces of wood together, and then you, you know, you sand the joints and you paint it or you stain it and it looks like one piece of wood. It looks like they weren't two pieces that were joined together. Pretty flawless. And it's how I built both of my vans, the entire thing. And <laughs> it's really strong. A thousand pocket holes. A thousand pocket holes. <laughs> Feel. You're good. Not very good? It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I just made some foolish decisions, but it'll just be there for the rest of our lives. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a little wood putty can't fix. <laughs> oh no. It might not look like much on camera, but that crack is a it's very gonna get putty. big deal. It's you will never ever see it. It's gonna get putty. Don't crack me. kills, guys. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, guys, what is up? Good morning. It is day number two of trying to get the rest of this cabinet built. And uh, today we're actually gonna be heading back down to the van shop because we're gonna be using the table saw and the router table and stuff again. We're gonna try and make the doors, the shaker style doors that are gonna go on this cabinet or on these cabinets. There's six doors that we have to make. This is probably the hardest part of making cabinets is building these doors. So we're gonna load everything up into the van, including the dogs and including Leo and my beautiful wife. We're gonna, did I say into the van? I don't know. <laughs> I think I said into the van. We're gonna load everybody into the truck and we're heading down to the valley. We're gonna hit Home Depot, pick up some supplies, and then we're going to the shop and we're gonna attempt to build these doors. We're seeing Brandon there. I think Bryce is gonna meet us at the shop. Today's gonna be a fun day. I don't even know how to help these people. Front or back? You just gotta pull on the road. You guys want help? Oh boy. So unfortunately this is a minivan, which does not have four wheel drive, and it has completely slid off. Both the tires on the right side are in a ditch. It's hard because this is a really narrow part of the road, of the dirt road coming down our canyon, and recently they've been trying to grade it a little bit wider so that the snow banks don't make it so narrow because automatically over time, the snow just kind of like makes it more and more narrow. But there's some big ditches that the grader has created on both sides of the road from trying to push the road a little bit wider. And this minivan uh, got stuck in that ditch and then could not steer itself back out. And now it's like, it's in a tough situation. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're gonna help get this guy out, but Trent's on it. There's a couple other trucks here trying to help. They have tow ropes. We're gonna maybe get out our winch and see what we can do. All right, so it looks like we have our truck behind, another truck in front. We're attached to the front and the back of this minivan, and it looks like we're gonna try to just like pull in both directions and pick it up out of this ditch. I hope this works. <laughs> we're sliding a lot. <laughs> I don't know if uh, you can tell on the camera, but Trent is pulling in the winch and it's moving the truck so much. so scared and freaked out if that were me right now. She, I think that's her husband. She's like, do you want to get in here and drive? He's like, you got it, just do it. <laughs> on top of the road being super skinny and there being a ditch on both sides, it's really icy today. So it's easy to slip around and slide off the road. And it was really lucky that there were other trucks and people here to help because I don't think we could have done this with just us. Oh no. It definitely needed well, another car. We could have hooked onto her and like drug her through the ditch until she 
popped back on, but that could also be treacherous. That could have broken her car also. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. No Thank worries. You. Have a good day. <laughs> Aw, beautiful. Just another day, just another drive down the mountain. <laughs> The icy conditions are no fun for nobody. Except for you, you love this. I do love this. <laughs>I love this place. So Bryce and Matt are not here today, but Bryce did leave a note for Trent. You may use my pencil and tape. If you take my stuff again, we can no longer be friends. P.S. I love you. Because last time Trent accidentally stole his tape measure and uh, didn't realize it till we were about halfway home, which was very unfortunate for Bryce. It's cute. <laughs> we brought it back. and Frank have been here a couple times but never really hung out here but our van is here and our van has a bin of dog toys in it and Lika hasn't really spent much time in the van so I don't know how she figured this out but she found the bin of dog toys and has just been dragging every single one out one at a time and scattering them around the shop it's pretty Making funny what she's, doing. <laughs> she's having a great time <laughs> all right so these are basically one piece of the you know four four sides of one of the doors that we're making right now. So we've used the router to make these grooves mm. in every piece. And then our quarter inch plywood over there is gonna be cut to the shape of the door. It's gonna fit into these grooves. Everything's gonna get glued together, but now- You're just making tongue and groove. We are, that's exactly what we're Why doing. Why couldn't you just buy tongue and groove? It's a long story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically now we have to line up the router perfectly to turn each end of these little side pieces into a groove that's gonna fit into that slot. Hmm. So the top and bottom piece have a, a tongue that fits into the groove. And then there's you know, your piece of uh, quarter inch plywood that's cut to the size. You put a little bit of glue on everything. You compress it together with some clamps. Bada bing, bada boom. You're ready to go. <laughs> All right, so now comes the moment of truth. We've got everything test fit. We make sure it's gonna work. It's not gonna look super pretty, but we're gonna do our best. It's not gonna look super pretty? Absolutely it's looking not. incredible. Okay, thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Absolutely. What? I think we might have to start over. With which part? Just all of it. The whole house. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> no. So we tried to use is a hair out of square. It's I not know, a big but deal. I'm sick of it. <laughs> we tried to use the the tongue and groove bit to make these grooves and then make the tongues. Let's just say they're off by probably like a sixteenth. So if That's you look nothing. if you look really close in here, you see that gap? Yeah. That gap means that this will collapse on you and Tide will spill all over your head when you try and open a door. Well, everybody could use a little bit more Tide in their life. <laughs> Excuse me while I go cry in the corner for a little bit because I really thought that by the end of today, our washer and dryer would be back in its place and it's really frustrating. Oh no. Last night, I was like, hey Trent, can I run the washer and dryer? There's nothing unplugged, right? And he was like, yeah, that's oh, fine. The drain. Brandon and I disconnected drain. the drain. <laughs> I was like, I didn't disconnect it. It should be fine. Turn it on. Oh, no. It only spilled a little bit. That's good. Yeah. I think Monday, Brandon and I are going to come down here and try and build all these doors. And you're going to stay home and paint. Yes. <laughs> and because honestly, like yesterday, if you would have painted the inside of the space where the washer and dryer goes, yeah. the washer and dryer could go in there and be done. Like we don't- Yeah. If you guys done. can't tell, we're taking applications for nannies and we are ready to- And, and painters. <laughs> yeah. If you want to paint or be a nanny or both, hit us up in the comments. We're willing to, I mean, this is all it takes. A little bit of knee action. Yeah. Just gotta 
You just can't do that while you're filming. That's the only problem. Or while you're cutting with a saw <laughs> yeah. or painting or building cabinets. <laughs> Basically, you can't do anything except for this little knee bounce. Yeah, it's all in the knees. <laughs> Not the <laughs> hips, <laughs> just the knees. <laughs> you can throw some hips in if you want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get paid double time if you can do this. <laughs> all right, all I have to say is that we better get some food soon because the dogs are starting to fight over toys. Leo's getting restless. I'm about to karate kid chop this door in half and we'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs> uh, I just realized my shoulder felt a little cold. Life is so hard. How about we sit this way so if you throw up again, it just goes on the floor. Oh, on me. It was the hips. I know, I gave him a little bit too much. <laughs> you couldn't handle it. All right, let's go home. Well, needless to say, I am a little bit disappointed with how today went. Um, I do have quite a bit of experience building cabinets and building vans and you know making shaker style doors. It's something that I've done probably the most out of everything, but it just goes to show that like, Sometimes there's little details that get overlooked and like I said, you got to know when to quit and really what I mean by that is You got to know when something is not up to your standards or when something is not good enough and you got to know when to Scrap it and start over um, In reality, you know nine out of ten people probably would have looked at those doors after they were done and sanded and painted and Said wow, those are awesome, but I wouldn't say wow those are awesome and so I want to make sure that these turn out as good as possible so we're gonna come back on Monday and we're just gonna use a little bit extra brain power do it a little bit different method that I've also done before and I think we're gonna have a better outcome so I'm excited and uh, I'm not excited that today was kind of just like a waste but at least we got to come down here and hang out the dogs got to go for a ride and Leo got to hang out at the shop and on Monday um, Probably at least Bryce will be there, so me, Bryce, and Brandon can hang out, and Allie can paint, and we'll just, we're gonna have so much progress on Monday, <laughs> but today we didn't really get much done. The dogs had a blast, though. Yeah. Did you have fun? Lika yeah. had the most fun she's ever had. <laughs> All right guys, we finally made it back to the house and we actually made it home before the sun went down, which is yeah. really rare, really, really rare in the winter time. <laughs> really, really rare, really rare. Anyway, we had a good day today. We had some fun at the shop. We learned some things. And in the next video, we're gonna perfect those things. I knew you should have fed Leo and then Brandon and I could have made the cabinet. That, that's exactly <laughs> right. I think you guys probably would have had a better chance than me and Brandon, so. It's gonna turn out great next time. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna just spend the rest of the day figuring out exactly how to make them perfect when we come back to it on Monday. So I hope you guys will join us next time. And we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.